Hi Gemini, welcome to your Love Connection reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. This is intended for a love connection you believe you have with somebody, so you do actually have to know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together at this time. So we'll get the energy between the two of you. I'll pick a zodiac oracle first. Uh, we'll get a sign, element, or planet. And then with this deck here, this is the Magdalene uh, oracle. I'll pick a overall love energy between you and your person at this time, opening message, and then I'll pull one for you, one for them, how are you feeling about each other, the connection, one for the mutual energy. We'll clarify all that energy with the tarot, look at the actual situation, then get advice, possible outcome, and then more clarity at the bottom of the deck. And then with the angel answers, we'll get more um, clarity and more messages at the end. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you. Take only the parts that resonate for you. It may not even resonate for you. And if it doesn't, please don't try to make it fit. It's probably just not your reading this time. Hold out for the next reading. Or check the description box below for your playlist, Love in General. Feel free to check out past readings. If you are single, I do have a singles reading on my channel also where you can... Um, Watch that if you like to. It's down below under the love playlist. You can check that out. I consider all the readings timeless, so feel free to check them out. And lots of other stuff down below in the description box. How to reach out for a reading, decks I'm using, uh, social media. If you're new, feel free to subscribe and com uh, like, share, comment, all the great stuff. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about four to five readings a month, and they're all different. And if you do, thank you so much, and welcome to the family. So let's see what we have for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, welcome everyone. Hope you're staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, and this could be past, present, or future. Please switch flip-flop energies around if you feel like you need to. That's totally fine. All right, Gemini, Gemini. Let's see. If this doesn't resonate, you can check other signs in your chart. Link below to get your free uh, birth chart so you can know what other signs to watch. All right, Gemini, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. Sign, element, or planet. For Gemini spirit, please. Hope we're all staying safe and healthy. Did I say that already? Well, I'll say it again. I am an essential worker, so uh, I still do work. I'm on vacation right now, but I just found out there's a positive case at my work environment. So I'm not sure what's going to happen when I return back to work. As far as I know, work is still on. So, wish me the best of luck when I return. So far, I've been feeling fine, but you know how that goes. All right, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, let's see, Gemini's sign, element, or planet for Gemini at this time. For the collective, someone rising Venus, male or female collective. Thank you. We have Aquarius. So you can be dealing with the fellow air sign, but you don't have to be. So we have Aquarius here. And Aquarius does represent the star and the major arcana which is about faith, hope, optimism, uh, healing energy, divinely guided energy, which is dreams coming true. So we'll see how that plays out. And we do have 11. Aquarius is 11. 11 is about being on the right path. You're on the right journey, on the right path. So, And if you add that together, it's two. is about unity and partnerships. So let's see what's going on. Do you have something divinely guided coming to you, Gemini? In love? We'll see. So let's get an opening message for you, Gemini. You may be not even looking, not even expecting, and all of a sudden, boom, this person shows up. That's like everything you've ever wished for. Whether or not you're ready for that, we'll see. All right, Gemini, Gemini. Let's get an opening energy for Gemini, someone rising Venus, male or female, general collective. And your message went on the floor. <laughs> Let me get it. Oh, my back has been killing me. So we do have perception. It's in reverse. Now, I don't think this deck has reversals. So I'm going to turn it upright. So perception here, it's about how we perceive things. So, and it doesn't necessarily mean that our perception is the right perception. But this is seeing the bigger picture, uh, knowing all the facts, gaining enlightenment, um, looking at things from every angle, um, and just know, you know, per your perception of this person may not even be right. You may, you know, see them right off and have this perception of them that's not even who they truly are. 
So just be careful of what you're perceiving. Maybe just an illusion and just in your head also. So be careful of how you're, you know, you're looking at things, how you know you may be reacting, thinking, and maybe even judging somebody because your perception may be wrong about this person. And what you're seeing may not be see what it seems. Also, if that makes any sense. All right, so let's get Gemini. Let's get one for you, one for your person. Gemini, I'll put you here, your person there, and see how you're feeling about each other and the connection. But like I said, if you feel like the energies need to be switched, changed, feel free to do that. And then I'll get one for the connective energy, and then we'll get into the tarot. All right, Gemini, let's get one for Gemini's person, whoever they're thinking about at this time. How are they thinking and feeling towards Gemini and this connection, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Oh, that's too many. <laughs> too many. Just one. All right, this one. I'm going to do the bottom of the deck for the connective energy. All right, let's see what we have for you, Gemini, how you are feeling. Sacred sexuality. So, I don't know if you've been intimate with this person, um, but this is like two souls emerging as one, like your energy becoming one, and it's not just the act, it's like the whole energy of intimacy, love, being vulnerable, emotional, um, like all that connective energy into one, not just the act, because the act can be meaningless. This has a lot more meaning than just, um, just the act itself. And it's all using that energy and like your divine purpose, your divine energy in life. It's like activating like this whole other awareness and being. So let's see. So you're feeling, you no, know, you could be feeling that way towards your person. Whether or not you've been intimate with them, you may feel like that sacral chakra energy. And then it just goes through your body and then it like kind of like ignites your passion for love and life and just things in general. And then they have the matrix. So the matrix is like the universal energy. Like you don't know exactly what the divine plan is, what's going on. May not, and again, perceiving may not be as it seems. Like, you know, perception here could be, you know, okay, they're not my person. You know, I don't feel that way or this is going to work out. But matrix is the divine, like universal law. It's almost like the Akashic records in the matrix. Only the universe knows divine order and exactly what the matrix is for this connection. So they may be perceiving this as, you know, gee, I don't know, seeing it because it almost looks like an eye here. So they may be seeing this as like, I don't know how this is going to work out. Or how is this going to go? I just don't know. But divine has whatever's in plan for this connection has already been put in place. And that is the whole matrix that you can't see. So they can't see, they can't perceive this and and say, okay, this is what it is, this is what's going to happen. Because only the universe knows that. So let's see what the connective energy is. Magdalene. So this is Magdalene herself. So she's a divine protector. She's a healer. She's a, um, she empowers. She's a protector. So, you know, she's divine guidance. So I feel like the connective energy between the two of you is kind of noted, knowing this is something special, this is something sacred, um, it's divinely protected and guided, kind of Aquarius with that star energy. So if you're not dealing with an Aquarius, it could just be the energy of a star, of a divinely guided energy, knowing this has greater force than you, and this is something very special and sacred here. But the perception may be, you know, not really sure, exactly what it is or perceiving it as one thing when it's really something else. So let's see, let's get into the tarot here. Let's get into the tarot. I think your person may be just trusting in the divine plan, trusting in the universe, whatever's meant to be will be kind of energy. Like don't self deceive through perception and trying to figure this out because again, perception can be totally, um, disillusioning so trying to figure things out like overthinking all right let's see here let's get 
clarification here for you, Gemini, Sun and Rising Venus, male or female, Jarn Collective. Okay, so we'll put two here, two here, and then we'll get two for the connective energy to fur further clarify for Gemini. All right, let's see, Gemini. So you have the Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So this is love, emotions, um, messages of love, affection, or emotions. Ace of Swords having clarity. Um, it's a brand new beginning, success, victory, having total epiphany, aha moment, clarity. This is my divine intervention, divine clarity card. So you, I feel like you already like know what this is like you've already connected with the universe with source and you know epiphany aha moment that you've been given that information by source that this is a very divinely connected sacred connection you know that and i feel like you want to share it with your person here with the page of cups but you may be a little afraid of how they may perceive that information they may you may think that they're going to think you're crazy or you don't know what you're talking about or it's just fluff or whatever. But let's see what your person has. So we have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So I think they've been trying trying to figure this out with the Ten of Wands. <laughs> and finally, I felt that energy like they know this is a divine connection, but yet they're trying to figure out the meaning. You know, what is this all about? I don't understand this. And finally, just like, okay, I'm just giving it up to the universe. You know, whatever it is, it is. Whatever will be, will be. But they definitely feel the soulmate connection with you, that this is something sacred and special also. Wow. So let's see what the mutual energy is between the two of you here, Gemini. So we have the Four of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So, I mean, the Eight of Cups is the energy of, like, walking away, but you can always return. The Four of Wands here is my Twin Flame energy. So this definitely could be a soulmate Twin Flame energy. This is, could be commitment, marriage, celebration, ceremonies, leveling up, getting together, going for a date, leveling it up in some way, shape, or form. So somebody may be a little scared here of total commitment, uh, of total realization of what this is. Realizing this could be a Twin Flame connection and being a little scared and they may run. But you're both in the energy of having love towards one another, one another and knowing this is something very speci special. See, I can't even talk. And sacred. Somebody may get a little scared here and run off. Uh, but I know I'm just getting an energy with that Eight of Cups of like... Turning around and turning around and just handing it over to the universe and saying, "Okay, um, you know, whatever it is, it is." But we do have twin flame soulmate energy here. So let's get more into this. Or they may just want to run to you, knowing how special this is, because they don't want to lose you. Yeah, look at that—the fool came flying out. So we have Aquarius energy here. So taking a leap of faith. And we have the Hierophant and the... Wow, I can't make this up. So all the energies lately so far for the readings for June have been coming out like fantastic. So I don't know if this this big Scorpio full moon we just had last night. Everything going in retrograde, everything else. But, you know, this kind of reminds me of the moon. We have the moon here. Because I'm recording this on the... It's Friday the 8th. So the Hierophant, we got Taurus. And now we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is Commitment. This is, you know, higher levels of commitment, learning, faith, spirituality, religion, moral, you know, doing what's moral, just and right. It could be marriage. And here's the offer, you know, firm, solid, stable offer for the long term. You know, growth, abundance for the future. So you're wanting to take this leap of faith with this person. And, you know, we got marriage, marriage, commitment, some kind here. And here's the offer, divinely guided offer here, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, that's way too many. All right, so let's get let's get a few more. The actual situation here. Actual situation here for Gemini. 
That could be you, Gemini. You know, you're a little scared of this connection and you're running off a little bit. You know, or it could be your person. But I think they're going to come back. The Emperor. So now we've got Divine Masculine here. It's Aries. Three of Swords, Hot Break. Well, we got two. So we got the Sun. So now we have Masculine, Masculine. This is Hierophant's Masculine. No feminine energy yet, though Magdalene is feminine. But here we have Patiently Waiting here on something. Two threes. But we do have the Sun here, which is Leo. So this is total happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, happy home and family, most positive card in the deck. You know, three wands about, you know, waiting, patiently waiting, waiting for the right time, uh, waiting for the ships to come in. <sighs> I'm, I'm feeling like maybe you, Gemini, are a little scared of this connection and maybe ran off or for a while here to try to figure this out, which might have left your person here in a broken heart because the broken heart's on their side. All they're wanting is the success, victory, happiness, joy, enlightenment, maybe even a family with you in the future. And they're willing to wait for you. They're willing for wait wait for you to get into your emperor energy, emperor empress energy. Though you have the energy here of, you know, wanting this leap of faith with them and the commitment, the higher, you know, levels of commitment or whatever here in the offer. So, I mean, it could be somebody here, or it could have been their energy where they kind of ran off because they were a little scared um, kind of energy also. But we two threes here. I mean, that can talk about a third party um, kind of energy. You know, this could be the energy of you, you know, being offered this high level of commitment and not sure whether or not to take this leap of faith. You know, but I feel like you had clarity over here what kind of connection this was. You know, they could have a fear of getting another broken heart if they had just ended something before coming into this connection with you. So maybe they were a little scared to, you know, connect so soon. So maybe they're just waiting a little bit longer until they feel like they're ready. They definitely feel this connection with you. I mean, however this resonates for you, I know um, it's getting a little mixed up, but that Three of Swords is what threw me off in the middle there. So, okay, so let's see here. Let's get some advice and guidance for this connection. Gemini. Gemini. So right now there isn't any balance in this connection. But, you know, energy of wanting, you know, working on it. There's no balance. So to bring balance, we need to work on this connection. Short advice guidance so far. To overcome any toxic energies. Low energies, toxic energies, addictions, obsessions, or whatever here. We've got Capricorn. But, I mean, this could lead to the Ten of Pentacles. Again, marriage, commitment, uh, wealth, abundance, prosperity, family dynamic, legacy of the family. Knight of Swords, so moving ahead very quickly, rushing in here. Uh, the Knight of Swords can be um, Aquarius, so there's the Aquarius there. So I see this, you know, once once we start to work on this and overcome any fear, doubt, or whatever this toxic energy is towards this Ten of Pentacles, it's going to happen very quickly. I feel like that's what Spirit wants you to know, but there's an energy here where there has to be equal give and take. And that you have to work on this together to overcome any fears, doubts. All right, so let's see. I feel a very strong bond here with the devil energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad. Just a very, very strong, strong soulmate twin flame uh, connection. Be a lot of passion between the two of you. So what could be the outcome here? So we see all this passion here. What could be the outcome here for Gemini? So we have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Moon. All right, so let's get a couple more for the possible 
outcome for Gemini in this connection. Wow. So now we have the moon can be Cancer or Pisces. We have death, Capricorn. No, not Capricorn, Scorpio. And Sagittarius with temperance. So I feel like here, again, the energy of sneaking away or, you know, turning back on this connection because of very strong, deep feelings, emotions. With the moon, fear of, you know, not seeing the path clearly. Where is this going to go? You know, not being to totally illuminated of the future, but we do have the sun here. So things are going to be illuminated, you know, in the future. So I don't think we have to worry about that. But now we have masculine and feminine energy. So definitely soulmate twin flame energy here. And with the devil. Uh, but death here, you know, is about endings and trans transcending, transforming, new beginnings, ending of old ways, starting over, starting fresh. And then we have temperance here, which brings the soulmates together. This is about healing, balance, peace, harmony. So I do see peace, harmony, and balance, and patient, being patient. You know, again, with the death and the moon, you know, transforming fear, running from this. So I think someone may definitely have to, again, turn their back for a while to figure this out. And transform and transcend their energy so that... These soulmates can come together and have a full understanding of this connection. If there's no understanding of this and um, having clarity, then, you know, this may not work. But we do have transformation here with death. So something will be transformed. So let's see what's on the bottom. Let's get five from the bottom. I'm going to take that one too because we have the Ace of Cups. So we're going to take six extra clarity. So King of Cups here can be Pisces. Doesn't have to be. So definitely love and emotions between two. Uh, sometimes the King of Cups energy, King or Queen, but the King energy doesn't really say how they feel. So somebody may not be, be totally honest with how they truly feel, though there are love and emotions. Again, somebody's stressing about this connection because they never had a connection like this before. So they're a little stressed out about it. But we need to end... Cycles here, we need, I was to say circles. So we need to end this going in circles energy. Like a dog chasing its tail <laughs> kind of energy. Like always coming back, but round and round we go. But um, closure, but new cycle starting here. So this could be a Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. But here's the offer with the Page of Pentacles. Very sincere, stable, grounded for the long term. Coming back together, reuniting, rejoicing, having a good time, going out, you know, dating, courting, whatever here. And brain will be getting in love. Love and emotions overflowing between two, divinely guided. So I do see this is a new beginning in love. If we can overcome fear, doubt, kind of energy, fear of this connection, what it is and not understanding it, you know, perceiving it and thinking, you know, it's one thing when it's not. It's something divinely guided. And special and sacred and coming to terms with that. I feel like there's no escaping this connection because we have trying to escape here, uh, here, but then you know with the world, it's like always coming back, always coming back. All right, so let's see here. Let's get some closing messages for you, Gemini, on this connection. For Gemini spirit, please, someone rising Venus, male or female, general collective. Closing messages on this connection for Gemini. Closing messages for Gemini on this connection. Spirit, please, thank you so much. No. All right, so let's see what that no is about. Well, it's not an exclamation point, so that's good. So what I'm getting with that is whatever their conceived perception is of this connection is a no. So whatever they're, you know, whoever is thinking this connection is just maybe something karmic or it's not real or it's too good to be true. I'm feeling no, <laughs> no. All right. So let's see what else here. No need to worry. A year from now. So, I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean a year from right now. It could be a year from whenever this connection started. A year from some... 
a year from whenever whenever something significant happened, like a timeline, you know, like deciding to commit and then, you know, to get more serious and then it's been on and off since, you know, a year from that time, you know, within a year's time or a year from the last significant um, thing that happened between the two of you. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. There's no need to worry. Look for a sign. So, synchronicity, signs. I'll take one from the bottom and wait. So, before we do anything harsh, brash, irrational with that sword, is here to wait, think, contemplate your next move. Before we do anything, we will regret later. Wow. Okay, Gemini, that's what I have. I uh, hope this resonates and send you many light, love, and blessings. Best of luck to you. And as I always say, is to always, always shine your light.